Hey everybody, well, <laughs> Oliver joined some Whiskey Barrel Studios, as you know, today is the day. Today is the day we launch Swords and Sandals Immortals in early access. And you know, this is just a relatively quick video to say thank you guys. Thank you, you, the people who helped make this possible. Basically, uh, everyone that's been on this channel for you know the, the, the years that I've been running it, uh, everyone that's been on the Discord and followed me on Twitter and sent me emails and messages and, of support and encouragement and um, anyone that's ever showed an interest in Sword and Sandals. Uh, Sword and Sandals Immortals is for you guys. This is basically, you know, what I like to think of as sort of the ultimate, um, almost love letter is the wrong word, but the, the sort of the culmination of everything that makes Sword and Sandals what it is. I've tried to put into this game and this is a game for you um there may not be another sword and sandals game after this uh i've been building these games since 2006 and i've kind of taken them as pretty much as far as i can go with them and this game of course there's there's much more to do on it uh, which i'll explain in a minute but um if the game does really well i'd really like to branch out and maybe make something else you know a, a proper deep ultima style rpg or something if the game does really badly perhaps that's the end of the road for sword and sandals too so it's a real kind of you know a, a, a real what next moment for the series coming up and and i'm i'm excited and you know there's a, a trepidation and all the things that go in to um the day of a launch i was chatting to my good friend john Stayscal, uh developer of um blood and mead from lost relic games and we were talking about, you know, the how do you feel on the day of a launch? And before a game is launched, it has unlimited possibility. You know, until you've actually pressed that button, your game could be the next Stardew Valley. I mean, slim possibility of that. But, you know, it's only when you actually release a game out into the wild, you really find out what it is and the reality sets in and, you know, you have to sort of, you know, curb your expectations a little uh, I have, um, I'm quietly confident that this game will do pretty well, you know, um, how well I can't say, I don't know, but, uh, to put it in perspective, we've had 11,000 wish lists, uh, which is the most of any Sword and Sandals game, um, before launch ever. And that is a, a testament to, I've done a lot of, you know, promoting and marketing and, you know, just being active, just letting people know about this game since I started working on it back in February last year. Uh, it, 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 I'm kind of, I've learned a lot of lessons, if you know what I mean, about how to promote a game and how to spread the word and also how to listen to people and what they want. I kind of went off and did all these different things in the past, you know, with Sword and Sounds Pirates and then Medieval you know, and um, Spartacus and, and a remake of Crusader. I'm not sure that's what everyone wanted. And even some of the directions that the Redux games took, um, I'm not sure that's what people wanted. I hope this is what you guys want. You know, it's what I want to play, and it's it's it's. If I had had the time and the sort of the the access to the great art and so on back when I first made Sword and Sounds too, this is probably what I would have made. Uh, I always wanted to be able to show off more of the world of Tritonia, you know, the continent of Brandor, and have you be able to walk around to different arenas. And I always wanted to have. Uh, a bit of a deeper storyline there and uh, more skill trees and so on. A lot of people love Sword and Sandals 2 for its simplicity, and I get that. And maybe maybe I don't get that. Maybe that's why you know I'll never be able to top Sword and Sandals 2, but I, I'm, I'm really proud of Immortals, and I, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I have something for you. A hat of ham. Yep, you guys are getting a hat of ham. <laughs> <laughs> what is that all about? Hat of ham. Remember this code, okay? So um, when you get the game, if you go into <laughs> the weaponsmiths and uh, you'll notice a new button there called enter code and you go in there and you get a little window there and you type in this code, hat of ham. And it's a little thank you guys just for you know supporting the channel and being fans of the series. Every gladiator you play with can have this hat. And it's basically John the Butcher's uh, special hat with the pig ears. 
<laughs> it's it's one of a bunch of little co codes and secrets that I've put into the game that I'll be sort of unveiling going forward. There's a special code for um, Patreons who I'll be um, emailing today. You guys are also getting a Steam key for the game just to say thank you. Um, let's shout them out now, actually. Hey, ah, oh, too early. If you'd like to be a Patreon, that would make day. Ah, oh, you missed your oh. cue. Ah, oh, thigh again, you old fool. Barty X, Brandon K, Cheese Chaos, Churstons, Daniel Funches, Davey Hollander, Ilya Gudovic, X Up Omega, Jeff Roth X 3D, Hopeless Eunice, Lee How You, Neighbor Jack, Noe Kudajan, and Pipech. You guys are all getting a Steam key for the game, so thank you very much. And you're also getting a special code uh, that's exclusive to you guys, unless you share it with others for a special little item in the game. Yeah, um, put that code in, and you will get a. Um, hat of ham which actually i think it might give you like plus one to vitality or something very low level item uh all these special items are only worth one gold because i don't want you to sort of be able to co type them in and exploit you know for selling and that kind of thing uh because that would be a bit pointless but it's a small thank you uh to everyone that has um, been with me on this journey so far now my friends i have one huge huge favor to ask of you if you buy swords and sandals immortals please, please review it. It makes a huge difference because once the game gets reviews, you need at least 10 reviews to get a positive or negative score, hopefully positive. But the more reviews I get, the more it, um, Steam realizes, hey, this game is popular. And then it starts to spread the word and it becomes on the new and trending tab. And then we will see, uh, you know, hopefully this game really take off. But I just need as many reviews as I can. So please take the time. Just even if you play it for half an hour and review it, even with just your initial thoughts. And if you decide you need to change your mind about what you think of the game later, you can always go back and edit your review later. Uh, it would make a massive difference and I will be eternally in your debt. To the point where if you review the game, send me a message, email me at you know, info at whiskeybarrelstudios.com. Hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Just screen capture your review and send it to me. And I will give you another code for the game for another special item in the game. Because, <laughs> you know, I really need your reviews. Uh, it makes a huge difference. And some of the earlier games in the Sword and Sandal series have not had many reviews. And they tank because of it. So I really need uh, as many reviews as I can get. And um, that's where I'm really counting on you awesome members of the Swords and Sandals community to... Um, yeah just help me out here and please review the game because i want to know what your thoughts are as well you know i'm really curious to see what you think of the game all right so that's it uh as you can see i'm kind of hyped up i've got one um big video to make uh in a moment which is basically going to be a roughly up to an hour long playthrough of the game uh, and i'll be sort of looping that on the um, steam broadcast of the game as well and i'll post that here on the youtube channel in a few days as well deep breath the uh, the calm before the storm uh, funny story i'm launching this game it's it's 9 45 uh in sydney australia in the morning right now i'm launching this game in about six hours time and then i'm going out to a friend's place to have a beer with some old friends of mine which is really probably not the the smartest thing to do given that you know you want to be there to support your game and so on but this has been planned for ages and he's a very good friend and I just also want to kind of let off a bit of steam, you know, proverbial steam, not steam, the game engine steam. The... Okay, I just, you know, always do things a little bit differently. You know me. Uh, my games aren't like everyone else's games, for better or worse. Um, but I promise you that I will be supporting this game for months and months and months to come, all through early access and into full um, release and so on. I'm going to be with you on this journey. We're going to make this the best sword and sandals ever. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to savoring the moment tonight and then looking at the reviews tomorrow. Hopefully there's lots of them. All right, guys, that's about it for me. Please enjoy Swords and Sounds Immortals. I've put my heart into it and um, my wife's voice is in it. My kids' voices are in it. Uh, members of the community have submitted um, not just voices but arena champions and written stories for the game and they've put their hearts and souls into it as well. So this is a game by me but also by you. And... Um, I hope that it's everything um, we all dream it is. Until next time, my friends, I'll see you on the other side. Wish me luck.